Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bending stresses. In this lecture, we are going to solve a numerical problem about the bending stresses that how to find the bending stresses in any type of beam. So the problem states they determine the maximum tensile and compressive stresses due to the bending. So this is in a beam or uh, this is in a simply supported beam of total length of 10 meters. And this has been subjected to the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter and the pointed load of 5 kN. While the 5 kN load acts at a distance of 4 meters from the left support. And this is the cross section of this beam, which is a rectangular beam with a width of 300 mm and height of 800 mm. And this shows the neutral axis. So we have to find the maximum tensile stresses and maximum compressive stresses due to the bending in this beam. So to find out the tensile and compressive stresses we can use this formula which is used for the bending stresses. So this formula is used to find out the bending stresses in beam. So sigma is equal to the moment into C and divided by I. Now this is this is the bending moment value C is the neutral axis distance neutral axis distance and this distance is from the always from the neutral axis from the center of the beam from the neutral axis to the top of the beam we call it C1 and similarly from the neutral axis to the top bottom of the beam to the extreme bottom of the beam we call it C2 so this value shows the distance from the neutral axis up to the extreme distance either top of the beam or either to the bottom of the beam so and this i is the moment of inertia of the beam moment of inertia so this formula can be used to find out the bending stresses that is the tensile stresses or compressive stresses so if I want to find out the compressive stresses, so I will use this formula sigma c is equal to the mc over i. So c means that I have to find out the compressive stresses. While sigma t, if I represent, it will be the mc over i, but with a negative sign. Because bending stresses is always in form of compressive and tensile stresses. So if one is positive, so the other will be negative sign, with a negative sign. Now how to find out the maximum tensile and maximum compressive stresses due to the bending. So this is the formula used to find out the compressive and tensile stresses. But let's suppose now we, found, we want to find out the maximum tensile stresses. So I will use this formula. Sigma t is equal to the minus mc over i. Now what is my moment value? So we have to find out the bending moment value of this diagram of this beam with the given loads so and this let's suppose that I found out the their support reaction value you can find out easily by just summation of moment it equal to zero at one point and then the summation of vertical forces you can find out the support reactions let's suppose this a point and this is the another support with B point so and this support reactions comes out to be 13 kilonewton I calculated it with myself but you can calculate it and the at B the support reactions are 12 kN. So we have to draw the shear force diagram. So it will be look it will be looking like this. 13 will be this is 0, 0, 0 reference line. And if we draw the shear force, so it will be 13 moving upward and then downward here, and then we have 5, so it will be look like this, and then at the bottom. At the negative portion we will have 12 again here so and here we will have 5 so you can draw easily this shear force diagram I'm not going into detail of this shear force diagram similarly from the shear force we can have the bending moment diagram if I draw the reference lines 0 0 so we can have a maximum bending moment here at this point and then it will come again to 0 because the Hinge and lower support cannot resist in a moment, so the moment will be zero at this point. And we have moment here at this value of 36 kN into meter. So now the question is how to find the maximum tensile stresses. 
So I told before to find out the tensile stresses we can use this formula but for the maximum tensile stresses maximum tensile will be equal to the minus with the moment with the maximum into C divided by I. So it means that we need a maximum value of the bending moment to find out the maximum tensile stresses. Now what is the maximum bending moment value? I found out that this is the moment bending moment diagram and this is the maximum value of the bending moment which is 36. So I found out that my maximum bending moment is equal to the 36 kN into meter. Now what is the C? C is the distance from the neutral axis up to the top of the beam. So C in this case will be equal to the H by 2. So H is 800, it will be 400 millimeter or we can say 0.4 meter. Now what is the I for this beam? For this cross section, I is equal to the BH cube divided by 12. Now I know that the B is 0.3 h is 0.8 in meter divided by 12 and I get the value of 0.128 meter 4 because the moment of inertia is a unit of 4 meter over 4 so now moment of inertia is so we find out all these values of this equation so now just plugging the value of all these values so maximum maximum tensile stress will be equal to the negative of bending moment of 36 multiplying it with the C which is 0.4 this is kilonewton meter and then 0.4 is the value of C in meter divided by the moment of inertia and the unit of meter power 4 so this meter the 2 meter will be cancelled with 2 meter so we will remain with the meter square so by multiplying this value we get the maximum tensile of tensile stress of 1125 kN per meter square but in megapascal it will comes out to be minus 1.125 megapascal or mega newton per square meter just dividing this value by 1000 so we found out that the maximum tensile stresses is 1.125 megapascal similarly what will be the compressor stresses the maximum compressor stresses will be equal to the negative of this value so it will become positive so it will be 1.125 megapascal because the compressor and tensile stresses are just the the difference between this is just with the negative sign we can find out the tensile stresses so multiplying it with the negative sign we will get the compressor stresses like how I did here in this example so we will have a stresses of 1.125 megapascal which are the maximum tensile and maximum bending stresses due to the this type of load and with this type of the beam and this maximum bending stresses will be at this point why because we have a maximum bending moment here at this point so the maximum moment shows that the maximum stresses will be here at this point of the beam if I consider it that this is the third point so we will have a maximum bending stresses that is the maximum tensile stresses and the maximum compressor stresses of magnitude of 1.125 megapascal if I if I want to show here the stresses so it will be like this this is the beam so these are the compressor stresses sigma c and these will be the tensile stresses sigma t so sigma t is also 1.125 and this is also 1.125 but one is the negative and the other will be the positive sign if i make it negative so this will be with positive sign so these are the maximum compressor and tensile stresses at this point of the beam if we draw the section so we will have a stress profile of like this the pass through bending moment or we can see the pass through stresses the compressor stresses so this we will have compressor stresses at the top of this beam section and at the bottom we will have a tensile stress of 1.125 megapascal hope you guys understand that how to find out the 
make simultaneous and complete stresses and don't forget to subscribe our civil engineering channel for daily civil engineering video.